started a landslide in the gorge, but the gold train got through all right. Now, you and the men follow them in case there's any more trouble. But keep well back and stay out of their sight. What are you going to do? I'm going on ahead to Mexico City and explain this to Juarez. Come with me, Juan. I cannot tell you how much this gold means to us. The very existence of the Republic of Mexico depends on the establishment of our foreign credit for the purchase of arms and supplies. We'll continue with the gold delivery, Suarez, in spite of Don Deloro and his jackets. This Don Deloro, you've no idea who he is? No, apparently he's someone masquerading as a Yaqui god. And he has complete control of the Indians. I could send you more soldiers if necessary, but it might antagonize the Indians and start a general uprising. It won't be necessary. The Legion can handle this situation. But your Legion has no legal standing. And if you get into trouble with the San Mendolito authorities, there is nothing I can do to help you. I realize that. But I think we can take care of ourselves. When do you return? At once. The Council meets again tomorrow. You're sure the Council does not suspect you of being Zorro? How could they? Well done, Diego. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> the council meeting must take care of this situation once and for all. Be certain to give the proper answers to our questions. Don't worry. I will be letter perfect. We had the situation well in hand until Zorro attacked. Zorro? Zorro attacked the train? Certainly. My men and I were putting up a desperate defense against the Indians until Zorro and his legion attacked. Fortunately, our two enemies started fighting each other. I took advantage of the situation and got the gold safely away. Then you think this uh, Zorro and his men are bandits? Would honest men be riding armed and masked? They're outlaws and must be treated as such. I suggest a reward be offered for the capture of these bandits. I agree. We should offer a reward of 100 pesos for each one of his men and 500 for Zorro, dead or alive. Oh, but is that enough? If this Zorro is as terrible as you say he is, I should think his capture would be worth much more than that. Say, uh, a thousand pesos at least. Very well. Are we all agreed? Yes. Agreed. agreed. That's agreed. satisfactory. Good. It is so ordered. The meeting is adjourned. I'll have my men start a search at once. We'll run down these outlaws. He hid something under that rock.
Why, he's a legionnaire. This is all the evidence we'll need. I'll summon the Legion. Blazing Z. Must be Zorro's signal. The Legion. Let's follow him. the meeting place. We'll tell Don DeLauro. Legionnaires, one of our members has been captured by the military. He is to be executed tomorrow morning. We could attack in a body, but that would cause unnecessary bloodshed. So I've made other arrangements. Anything to say before your sentence is carried out? No. Ready? be free to live on the lands of your fathers. Zorro and his legion will no longer interfere with you. 
I have made plans to destroy them tonight. Go to the San Nicolas Mission and do what I told you. The things you need are all ready and... Are you crazy? Spread the rest of the powder around the base of those kegs. Pray for that candle. I've cut it to burn two hours. That should be about right. Light it. That will make a warm welcome for Zorro and his legion. Go up on the hillside and light that Z as soon as it's dark. No matter what you say, I still don't believe Zorro is a bandit. <laughs> then why does he wear a mask? Perhaps because he's so ugly, he's afraid to show his face. <laughs> Seems a little close in here. Shall we take a short stroll? Yes, let's. Someone hidden in there. Go on to the mission. I'm going to look into this. see that no one gets out the front way. It'll only be a few minutes now before that powder goes off. There must be something wrong. Come on, we'll join Zorro. Quick! 